Hey everyone, it's Sani and I'm filming at home, yay! Uh, I've been traveling loads, so sorry for the lack of videos and uh, I did put out one last week but it was just shot on my iPhone. Anyways, um, I've got some monthly favorites to do and I realized, I'm just gonna say this in the beginning, um, I got dressed, I like found my dungarees, I hadn't had these, they're vintage Carhartt I think, and I hadn't worn them for ages and I was doing my hair and I realized a combination of kind of makes me look some sort of a deranged farmer, I guess. So I'm gonna try and, you know, run with it. I do have to go to work today um, and I have to take my cat to the vet. So these are the people that are gonna be scared. I think they'll probably think that I'm in some sort of costume. Um, I've got lots of favorites and two fails. I feel like maybe I'm just gonna get um, the fails out of the way. Fail number one. This is a natural deodorant by Sunaflor. It's Cloud of Freshness 24 Hours Efficiency, efficiency Deodorant. 24 Hour Efficiency Deodorant. It's a, a French uh, organic brand. I've liked a lot of products from this range before. This, however, not only does it not uh, work as a deodorant, I felt like it made me smell worse, which is terrible. It's like the exact opposite. So this is a massive, massive massive fail i had already emptied the product so there's nothing in here i was going to put it into recycling and i did want to uh, just mention this in case anybody's looking for natural deodorants this does not work um what i normally i'm just going to show you because this is like i've got so much love for this i use the la vanilla the healthy deodorant and vanilla grapefruit stunning incredible smells incredible works you know everything um the other fail is and this breaks my heart um is the Sunday Riley Tidal Brightening Enzyme Water Cream. My sensitive skin does not like this at all. There is um, there's a lot of, um, there's a massive scent to it and that immediately kind of put me off it. Uh, it has hyaluronic acid and enzymes and everything and it, like on paper, it was, it, it was gonna be amazing. It's like a gel cream for the summer. Um, on my skin so I'm gonna have to I think I'm gonna give this to potentially my mom because this works with hyperpigmentation and illuminates and all sorts of stuff my skin when I put it on it feels a little bit irritated and I also don't like the way it, it kind of feels like it sits on the skin for a little bit um, if any of you have tried this let me know how you get on or if you have any kind of tips on how I should be using it if I'm using it the wrong kind of way but then on to the loves, because the loves, oh, the loves are amazing. First, I am going to talk about my skin. Um, this was a weird, this was a weird combination that I discovered, a foundation combination for me. So I'll show you the two products first. It's the Chanel Le Beige All-in-One Healthy Glow Fluid, and mine is 20, and it is, this is a tester size of the Airborean BB Cream Nude. These two together, incredible so the way I discovered this combination is I was going to use this on its own um, but I remember that I kind of I do want a tiny bit more coverage and this BB cream actually gives you great great coverage um, so I thought let's just try these together this BB cream is a traditional kind of BB cream so it has that gray cast uh, and somehow the combination of these two I just mix them like in the back of my hand um, I don't layer them and I put it on I have a beauty blender with a brush with fingers it works with everything and I, I'm wearing this combination today I have a tiny bit of uh, mineral veil um, translucent powder on top but I absolutely because this stays on so 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 well and it just for me this combination works and I am pretty much now because I've been using it I have really actually been using it consistently for about 30 days, so I'm almost out of this, which is sad. This, I I use these in like two thirds and one third. This I'm almost out of as well, actually. But um, yeah, there's something about the combination. If you have these two products, try them. If not, at least try this, because I know that the Airborea can be a little bit more difficult to get a hold of. Um, try this with a kind of a grey tinted, uh, grey, not grey tinted, you know, the traditional kind of BB cream. But I have been loving, loving that. And speaking of skin, well, cheeks, uh, my current blush favourite, ta-da, is by Hourglass and this is the Incandescent 
Electra. I'm not wearing a separate highlighter at all. I am wearing contour. Um, I'll talk to you about that in a minute. But so this does the highlighting and the blush and it is for me the perfect, absolutely the perfect summer blush. I use this a lot on clients as well. And speaking of contour, um, I personally, because I travel so much, I love a multi, multi-purpose product. And oh my God. So uh, Armani's Eye and Brow Master. You're thinking, what? Contour? Yep. So this is the shade I have is 06 Copal. And this is, I was looking for a brow product, a brow uh, wax. So I was like, oh, that's interesting. And then I started looking like on the stand and it said, there was nobody there to help me. It said that, oh, you can use it as an eyeshadow. You can use it as a contour. And I went, ooh, this is good. Because my problem with like cream products that come this big, they always dry out before I have a chance to use them up. And that makes me so mad. So I did do my contouring with it today. Tiny bit, not, not crazy amounts. I am wearing it as an eyeshadow, so I've been really big into like single eyeshadow eyeshadows. I'm wearing this and I've got a little bit of MAC Patina on top. They're basically almost exactly the same color, um, this and the Patina. And what I love is using it under my eyes because I actually go, I own, the only product I have under my eyes is this. I go quite wide with the under eye liner. You know, I do it with uh, an eyeshadow brush and I love the kind of shadow effect it gives under my eyes. And obviously I have it in my brows. So this is, wow. Like I always, I, uh, Armani makeup just always surprises me. Like every single product that I have bought, apart from one, which I'm not gonna slap off because so many people like <laughs> it, I have loved. Um, yeah, so go and try this out, I, I love it. Fragrance, oh my God, I'm in love with this. This is the Jo Malone English Pear and Freesia. I'm gonna spray it again, I've already sprayed it today. I just love this scent so much. I actually smelt this on a client um, and she just smelt incredible. And you know, it was a wonderful, incredible event. And the, they're wealthy and I thought, oh my God, it's gonna be something that costs like $400 for a bottle. And it was Jo Malone, uh, English Pear and Freesia. And it is incredible. I am so in love with it. Usually I buy Jo Malone's in the little bottles. This time, I don't need to, I love this so much. I just keep spraying it, I spray it in the air as well, which is terribly wasteful, but I love it so much. Uh, I've got a face wash and a scrub. So the first one is Face Wash by Natura Siberica, and this is the Cleansing Foaming Mousse. And I buy uh, my Natura Siberica from Whole Foods. I noticed in France, you can get it in Monoprix Beauty as well, which is amazing. Super, super reasonably priced, um, super reasonably priced uh, organic label and I love this it takes off all my makeup I am not one to fuss around unless I was probably wearing like a black waterproof eye I might need might need something else but this takes off everything the only thing with this is that the pump is quite stiff that I don't like you really have to kind of pump it so uh, but I absolutely absolutely love it I'm like the Natura Siberica um, line is really surprising me it's fantastic and the other one is um, I showed you a tester size of this this is the Rudolph facial scrub mask uh, scrub mask with acai antioxidant it rejuvenates and moisturizes you can use it as a scrub or a mask um, I use it as a scrub but then I let the scrub kind of sit on my face while I have my shower it does have oils in it but it doesn't make me break out which is amazing so when you rinse it off there's like the slightest feel of oil on your skin but I just pack my face dry with a towel. I don't use moisturizer afterwards and my skin feels amazing. Um, I, I, I love that. And then it's just a couple of hair products. So because of short hair, I'm still figuring out how to style it. And I've tried out different things, you know, like a little bit of a quiff like today, flat, forward, backwards, you know, oh, and I'm working on it. But my current favorite thing is to combine two products. So, which is the, I always forget to how to pronounce this, whey, I think it is, the whey hair oil combined with Aveda Men's uh, Pure Formas Grooming Clay, uh, texture, and, uh, texture and Strong Pliable Control. I put this in uh, wet hair, not dry hair. It becomes too sticky for me in dry hair. And so I actually rub these two together, put it on, 
dry my hair and then after that uh, to create kind of a little bit more separation I use the um, Bumble and Bumble Brilliantine which I love love love. Um, if you want your hair super matte and if you've got short hair then probably leave out these two because just using this gives you a very matte very like amazing effect I do like it but I want to make sure that my volume stays I use the Ossus Dust It Texture I have been using this for years on my clients when they want like really big hair not really on myself I finally discovered why this is so amazing for short hair so um yay to this product and that is it I think yeah for my favorites let me know your favorites of the month and fingers crossed I am going to be here at home beginning of next week so I can shoot another video I was thinking tutorial like whoa <laughs> major um let me know if there's a tutorial you would like me to do and I will see you next week bye